Hey everyone, today we're in Sturgis at Dejarlis Farm and Winery with Joe and Tammy. They are the owners and it's actually a family run business. Joe, why don't you start us off by telling us about the history of this place? Well, our family's been here probably 82 years at the farm. And so we just started working on the winery in, the, in 2012 when we planted our vineyard. Okay. And we also started the honeybees at the same time. Oh, wow. And so we started, um, processing wine and selling wine in 2020 and so since then we've distributed mostly locally here in Sturgis. And talk a little bit about the property here. It's kind of an amazing little oasis here in Sturgis. Like you don't know it's here. It's kind of hidden. Right. The, the bikers that have been staying here for a long time, they dubbed it the Sturgis Hideaway. And so that's what we kind of named the campground. And you're right, most people that live in Sturgis don't even know that this is located back here because it's kind of hidden. And so we have over 20 acres and we started a campground um, probably when the bikers started coming, but in the last couple of years we've opened it during the summer months. Yeah, I forgot to mention it's a winery slash campground because, yeah, like you said, it's a lot of property here. And um, Tammy, why don't you talk a little bit about the winery and sort of the process if folks want to come do a tasting? Right now we do pretty most of our tastings by um, reservation only, usually on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. They can give us a call, we'll set it up, but we'll do it anytime if somebody gives us a call and we, we'll make special arrangements for people. Touch a little bit about on the wine that you make, like what kind of flavors? Okay, we have uh, 10 different varieties of grapes that we grow here on property. And so we make regular grape wines from all of those. We also source from several other vineyards here locally in the Black Hills. We also make fruit wines from the fruit when we have it, plus some local uh, state grown um, like black currants. And, but we do our own choke cherry wine, we do our own rhubarb wine, rhubarb raspberry wine. So everything we try and grow here on property, but we can't always get enough. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of what are your aspirations for this place or kind of how do you see it going forward? Well, we're kind of learning from some of the great examples that have been in the Black Hills, like Belle Jolie and Prairie Berry and Firehouse. All of those were probably about 10 years behind those guys as far as growth. So we would like to grow the amount of wine that we make and distribute it a lot more and expand our tasting room here. Now, let's talk about the campground, right? So these buildings are super unique. Talk about them. Well, a lot of them were built over the years, a lot of them by my father. And so he has built barns, he has built chicken houses. Um, we have a caboose here on property that we rent out as a bed and breakfast. We have a teepee, we have a sheep wagon. Um, so a lot of unique facilities, plus just regular campground um, where you can put up a tent. I think the honeybees is something yeah. that is very important to us and we we do have five hives on property and another one up in the mountains and I think it's as far as locally grown honey is very healthy for folks and we have you know all those products that we sell here or at different locations in town and so we just like to have people know that we also have that for sale. The honeybees are, you know, people ask what kind of honey is it? I says it's the flowers of Sturgis. It's anything that everybody grows in this town is the pollen that's going to be produced in that honey. That's neat. I like how it's like all local. That's, that's yeah, we're proud of that too, that we, our family's been here this long and that we're able to produce something that um, people can support here locally through agritourism type of uh, um, operation. And so we, I guess we continue doing that for the community. Our family has been here 82 years and so it's been four generations and a, a fifth, I guess, now with my son living here on property. I always thought it was fun because I says with our wine, Grandpa always made the wine, and I says my true memory of my grandparents is going down in the basement in their wine cellar in the same house, going down there off of a keg of wine, of wine that Grandpa made and taking sips off of it. And I was only <laughs> seven or eight years old. <laughs> and I, you know, that's my fondest memory. I says that was probably the start of everything. We still have that original flask that he really? made his wine from. Really? And so, wow. so it's a great memory of my grandparents. Now, if folks are watching this and, and they want to check you out, maybe learn a little bit more about you before maybe they come here, what, where should they go? Our website, which is dejarlisfarms.com. 
and if they go there it kind of gives it an overall history of the family and the different things that we sell. It also has a link to a spot called campspot.com that they can go through and they can also go through VRBO and they can get a you know as far as um, some information on their, our stays and how long and that type of deal. All right well thank you guys for having us out this has been awesome. No, thank you for coming out. We appreciate you uh, showing the folks what we have here.